numbers, you can give us a call, 789-6559, extension 2803. You can always send us a message via our Facebook page or email us, ottawa.morning at ctv.ca. Always great to have uh, Howard and Stephanie joining us. Great to have you guys back. Thank you. All right, and I don't know if you just thought it would match, or I, that I just, I needed a necklace with today's outfit. We were look channeling what I, each look other. Look what I inherited today. I'm incredibly impressed. See? Yeah, there was a reason why I didn't wear a necklace today. I knew that I was going to have some fun with you guys. All right, we are going to be talking about some of these amazing colored gems that you have. And what a display. This is totally different than I was expecting when you yes. guys mentioned colored gems. Yeah, so we decided to bring things that were a little bit different, uh, different than the ruby emerald sapphire. So this is the colored, this is a, just a little hint of what is available in the colored stone world. And what I often tell my clients is, what is your favorite color? Like, bring me in, whether it's um, a swatch or bring me in a picture of your favorite color, and I swear that there is a natural gemstone that is going to be in that tone and that color. And this kind of gives you a little hint of that. Okay, I'm not sure if the camera can pick it up because these are vastly different colors, but it's almost like you're doing the color blocking in jewelry that we're seeing in fashion right now. Yes, exactly. So this is part of um, our custom collection, and I designed these three pieces there and the idea that I really believe in color is that it should be very wearable it, you should be able to wear it with a sundress with a jeans and a t-shirt so you need a lot of clean lines they're beautiful and, and you don't find these in the in the regular jewelry stores or the average jewelry stores because don't forget we manufacture so we make it and we want to be different and that's and, why we can offer this selection. And what Dad is saying is very true. Especially in our colored stone collection, it is very unusual that we ever have more than one of the same piece. Okay, I, I mean, these really truly are remarkable. Also, you put something on my finger. I'm gonna just kind of tune this in. I'll take away my Superman ring super right there, <laughs> so you get a better look at it. So on your finger is a custom made from our, from our shop. Uh, white opal and you can see the amount of fire that is in that opal and what makes this a little bit unusual is it's actually set in 18 karat pink gold so it really highlights the pink flashes that you see in the opal that's remarkable and the other nice thing too about this ring is that it's actually done with a bezel set meaning that it's smooth all the way around so it's more of a wearable piece every day because oh you do have to be careful with opals because they are fragile and then on your neck, yeah. actually, this is a black opal. So it's still part of the opal family. And you can see the blues and the greens in it. And you can see how much darker it is than your ring. And this is done in white gold and it has diamonds that go all the way around it. Uh, and we selected these uh, out of I'm hundreds scared. of stones from uh, an Australian uh, uh, miner. Australian, uh, the, uh, then we got the stones and then we decided what type of piece to put it into. What you were gonna do with it. Exactly. I believe that the stone speaks to what it's going to look like in the, in the jewelry. Okay, the difference that we're seeing, and I mean, even if you take, this is a very similar line, right? In terms yes. of the types of stone and, and the way that you've designed all of these. Yes. Now, those ones, you know, have the, have a certain clarity to them compared to the other colors. So how different are these that we're looking at? Can well, you these explain are all, it? Well, these are all different types of stones. So this one here, this is a tourmaline. So that's a pink tourmaline. So a pink tourmaline is naturally clear is naturally clean inside and that's why it looks the way it does and that's why you can see through it and you can see that it has that perfect kind of like light pink you know hint of like hint of a muted bubble gum look yeah. that is natural in nature and, and, we, and we textured the gold color to, to enhance the stone to complement the stone well, it's right? almost like a roping a like yeah. you've done a really great job it with, is a, with a hint of pink did in i get that right a rope yeah, and, and that's is. really it is like a, it's like a twisted yeah. rope very cool. I, I love that they're just my size. Stuff. I know. <laughs> yeah, I love that. So Perfect. there's that type of pink. Mm -hmm. So normally people are just used to pink sapphire, but here we have this type of pink. Then here, in, and we have we have literally hundreds, if not thousands, of loose colored gemstones in the store. So what would uh, would what would they do with this? So often, often people want to create their own, or they want to with me or one of my colleagues create something. Or, or use some of their stones, the existing stones that they have. Right. So if they have existing stones, which you're great about coming in with, uh, with your, your jewelry, that things you're looking to revamp and, and redo, you would actually be able to just purchase individual stones and yes. then have you guys create it. So you're buying it by the stone and then on top of that, 100%. having you guys design something. So these are called pink spinels, and the world of spinels 
Chanel is like an electric color. And this is natural as well. And one of the interesting things about Spinel is it literally goes from pink to red. And the, in its ideal form of red, it's almost the color of the most perfect ruby possible. So even in the Queen's Jewels, what they thought were a few pieces of ruby actually turned out to be Spinel. And that's just through later on through gemological testing and advancement really? that they were able to realize that. That's fun. That's really that's, and it's much that's less great. money too. Right, exactly. So sometimes people love a certain color in one gemstone, but the price is prohibitive. But we can find something maybe similar in another gemstone. All right. Can I ask you in terms of what would the price differential be between the different so that you go from the clear to something that's. Yeah, how so, would I describe that? So these are chalcedony. So this is the natural color of chalcedony, mm -hmm. and this one has a bit of an enhancement to it. But it's still a natural stone that just needed a little bit of help that way to achieve that electric blue right. color. So something like this, which is completely custom made, is 1,650. And that's an 18 karat gold. And that's completely handmade. It's such a big piece too. And this, is some, and this is something that I really could not remake. For me to find something that's exactly these stones would be very difficult. It's really neat when you see them up close, just how unique, how different it really is. We do have to yes. take a commercial break. Of course. The one thing I really want us to get to, and I know because after our last segment, you guys were heading to Las Vegas for this great show. I want to hear all the details from that. Uh, let us know. You can uh, always send us in your questions. You can call us live on the air, 789-6559, extension 2803 or send us a uh, message or question via Facebook or email. We do have to take a commercial break. We'll be back right after this. It comes to me so natural.